Hey guys, welcome back to Yes or No Item Reviews. My name is Omar. In today's episode, we're going to unbox, set up, and review the Phone Spa Portable UVC Wand Sanitizer. And we're going to start unboxing right now. So this is what the box looks like. It has a bunch of information on it, basically saying it kills viruses and bacteria in 20 seconds. This interested me and so I bought it. Let's unbox it. This box gives you one micro USB cable, one phone spa sanitizing wand that's small enough to fit in your pocket, one test report page, and one instruction manual that I will be referring to this whole video. So in total, you should have four things inside the box. First, find your nearest wall outlet and grab a USB charging station or a phone charger, which is not included, and plug it in the wall outlet. Then unwind the micro USB cable that was provided to you and plug it into the charging port of the phone spa sanitizer which is located on the base of the wand. Take the other end of the USB cable, plug it in your phone charger and you'll begin to notice that the charging process begins. The red indicator light means that it's charging. You will know the wand is fully charged when the indicator light turns off. It takes about 30 minutes to an hour to charge the wand. Go ahead and unplug the micro USB from the wand. Find the power button next to the indicator light, which is located at the base of the wand, and hold it down for two seconds. The UV light will turn on and the indicator light will light up blue while the wand is on. The sanitizer wand has a safety feature built in. When the UV lights are raised upward, the power supply of the wand automatically shuts off to avoid injury to your eyes. When you push down, the wand will automatically turn back on. Even if you are trying to look at it from a different angle, the sanitizer wand will still turn off as you can see right here. This is a very nice built-in safety feature. There are two ways to sanitize with this wand. Here is the first way to do it. In this example, I'll sanitize George Washington's face. Here I'm flattening the sanitizer wand and I'm going to turn it on. According to the instructions, hold the wand as close as possible and no more than one half inch above the object's surface. Move slowly across the object surface, making sure that it gets at least 20 seconds of disinfecting UV light. However, 30 seconds is recommended. The second way to sanitize is to position the wand in standalone position. Place the object directly under the UV light and allow the UV light to penetrate the object for at least 10 minutes. Bong. Yes, the instructions and facts say 10 minutes. Bong. And yes, that is a huge difference. 30 seconds with the first method and 10 minutes with the standalone method. Another disadvantage using standalone method is that UV lights have a limit on how far they can go. So you would have to reposition your object and the object could only be as wide as the lights. Bong. If you use the first method of sanitizing, you could sanitize big objects like iPads, laptop computers, keyboards, DJI gimbals, mini tripods, wallet, remote controls, your extremely heavy weights, metronome, your kids' toys, your Bible, Bumblebee Transformers water jug from Universal Studios Hollywood, your trophies from 1998, and finally, your realistic Halloween costumes from Disney. According to the instructions, do not expose the sanitizer wand to dripping or splashing or any liquids to prevent electric shock. Do not sanitize your skin because you'll get skin burn. Do not look at the UV lights because you'll freak out like this woman. Do not sanitize pets. And most importantly, do not sanitize people, especially very cute 9-month-old Filipino baby boys. Once you're satisfied with your sanitizing, just click power once and it turns off. Here are some good things about the portable sanitizer. The UV lights kills germs and bacteria instantaneously without the hassle of wet cleaning wipes or detergents. With the wand folded, it's only five and a half inches in length and two inches wide. It's small enough to fit in your pocket, purse, or luggage. I like the fact that it turns off by itself in certain angles to avoid injury to the eyes. Finally, it's easy to use and easy to set up. 
Here are some negative things about the portable sanitizer. According to the instruction manual, disinfecting in the standalone position takes about 10 minutes. I feel like that takes forever compared to the recommended 30 seconds that you could sanitize when holding and moving the wand. In addition to standalone position, you can only sanitize smaller objects, which limits sanitizing space. I know I'm being nitpicky when I say this, but I wish that it charged faster. It took about one hour to recharge the wand to its full capacity. Honestly though, this is still a great purchase. It's only $10 US currency at Walmart right now. For that price, I can't complain too much for what it offers. If you research other portable disinfecting wands, they cost from $20 to $150 US currency. So yeah, you be the judge of that. If you want to learn more about the Phone Spa Portable UVC Wand Sanitizer, or if you want to purchase one for yourself, I'll leave all that information in the description section below. And please let us know your opinion on this item in the comment section because we would love to hear what you think about it. Also, check out these other clips that are similar and related to this video to the right of your screen. Until then, I will see you at the next item.